investing in youth in the agriculture sector is paramount for sustainable transformation of the sector. To fast track this, a National Youth in Agribusiness Forum hosted by AgriProFocus under the Promoting Agribusiness Investment, Networking and Trade for the Youth, dubbed PaintY, was held in Nairobi, bringing together stakeholders from the sector. PaintY was inspired by a scan that we did for the Youth in Agribusiness ecosystem in Kenya. And what the scan revealed is that there are very many initiatives that are supporting youth. These are projects. There are a lot of donors that have invested also in these projects to support youth, but also private sector foundations um, and very many government uh, institutions. So we thought, how does this all come together? Why aren't people talking to each other? Uh, are the youth part of these conversations? So the scan highlighted three areas, capacity building, it highlighted access to resources and also policy as issues and sections in the youth in, in the agribusiness ecosystem that the projects are supporting. But the realization is that also these projects are not talking to each other. Youth are not talking to each other based on the successes that they have. So Pain to Eye is basically that neutral platform that brings all these stakeholders together, including the youth. In a keynote address by the Kingdom of the Netherlands, youth must be involved in policy formulation, which should be adapted to their needs in a bid to improve their agribusiness ecosystems. I strongly believe that uh, youth in agriculture also needs youth in policy. We need young people to also be involved in decision making in the policy level. Um, to be involved in the policy dialogues because that's also an important sector where we as youth can make a difference. Because the challenge is significant. Uh, here in Kenya the population aged between 17 and 32 is almost 17 million. That's as many people as live in my country. Uh, and even uh, they, the group is increase, increasing. In 2030 there will be 22 million people in the same age bracket. So therefore we have a role as developing partners together with the Kenyan government, knowledge institutes, um, but also the private sector to create opportunities for youth. This forum, which is a first under the paint to platform, provided a stage where the youth showcased their agribusinesses and share their experiences. On the other hand, stakeholders had the opportunity to interact with them for a better understanding on what they really want. paint to is an eye opening, it's an opportunity to meet the youth in their, in their element. They can tell us what they think. The, this is the only way we engage, to know what works and tailor make and give them solution. It's, it's a definitely a good collaboration we would like as a bank to continue with and bring all the youth in it. This forum was helpful for me as a facilitator of one of the programs that offer scholarships for regional students, where at CESAM we've got 164 masters and PhD students. These are potential agribusiness specialists and different areas of, uh, of animal science, different areas of dairy food and science of technology, different areas of agronomy and crops and hot cut and soils. We'd love to have these youths get outside there and make a living out of agribusiness. So the forum here provided an opportunity for us now to get insights into what we will implement in our project and how we, then we will train these students better to think about enterprise development as one of the ways in which they can make ends meet. From the interactions, capacity building, access to resources such as markets, information and knowledge, finance and leadership were key areas that the youth need support and engagement in. In a side event on policy and leadership, participants highlighted that creation of proper information flow channels must be put in place and are conducive for all stakeholders. We realize that there's a lot of opportunity in preparing the youth to take leadership and to influence policy. So that is a clear opportunity. And how do we do that? Three areas were mentioned. Number one is there's an opportunity to fill the existing information gap between government and the youth and vice versa. So the information flow has to be two-way. Does the government understand the youth their aspirations, their skills, their needs, and do, do the youth understand how government works, how the opportunities in government flow, what are the requirements, and what is required of them. So filling in the information gap is very critical in preparing the youth to take leadership and influence. On capacity building, reintroduction of agriculture and agribusiness courses from the formative years of pupils will play a big role in increasing the uptake of agriculture 
In the wake of technology upsurge, the youth must leverage on these platforms. Technology presents um, a better platform to be able to share information, and this I'm talking about tested information. And one of the highlights that uh, was identified is the creation of e-hubs, where people can be able to log onto platforms and get tested information. The other that we identified is in incubation models, and I think this, of course, are the representations of different entities or institutions that are covering this. And the main reason why we have to embrace incubation models is because they offer all-in-one package, be it BDS, be it investor-ready programs, and different other areas that we need to focus on. The other models is linkages and networking, and I think this forum serves a purpose for that. Uh, the main reason for this is to encourage farmer-to-farmer -farmer interaction, and of course peer-to-peer -peer interaction. And the most important is uh, for uh, in this is for a long time, like we have said, we need to put the youth at the driver's seat of agricultural transformation. And this needs to be done by encouraging peer-to-peer, peer-to-peer -peer, uh, interactions. Access to resources such as markets, knowledge and finance are some of the main challenges that most agripreneurs have to grapple with and the youth are no exception. To address this, they have to be innovative in their quest to access them. A farmer group shared how they've managed to crack the code on access to finance. We realized that we were having challenges bringing in uh, commercial banks to finance our agribusiness project. So what we did is that we connected ourselves with the savings groups that we were having in the villages. So we strengthened them, then we combined them into a one, one large group that formed now the Mihoko community-based organization. And then with the CBO, we were able to open a bank account which now all the groups would put their savings in and it is from that large port that now we would distribute uh, larger loans to the members who wanted to invest in various things. Most of them invested in agriculture. And what do youth make of the Paintwai platform? The Paintwai has uh, come in hand uh, in providing the linkages to the market in pro because we are able to meet other stakeholders in the agriculture, in the agribusiness, especially as a young person. It has widened the market scope. So as for us, uh, while we are marketing the, our products, the honey and the equipment, Paintwire has offered a platform whereby we can uh, meet other stakeholders in the business and uh, we have been able to reach our customer more and provide the products that uh, we are offering. For me as a youth, for one, uh, it's a platform that you don't get every day. So being able to be part of this ecosystem where you're able to interact with fellow youth that are also leading in various, uh, in various, with various solutions in the in agriculture sector, being able to interact with stakeholders, thought leaders, investors and potential partners as well. So I think for me, this is an all-round environment for me as a youth and also now on this other end as a business owner. When I came here, I created a networking with so many people. And you know, I, I, also, I also learned that uh, apart from the beekeeping business that I am practicing there, there is a lot of opportunities in Kenya that we can do, but that can only be done through networking like the, the, what we are doing right now in this forum. Upscaling the paint white platform across the counties and regionally will be key in transforming the agricultural landscape going forward. We want to take this to county level. We want to take this at national level, but also at regional level. So we had representatives from Uganda, from Tanzania, from Rwanda in this room, from the Netherlands. So we really want to make this a global platform for youth, by the youth, with the youth. So I hope the youth are geared up to plug in and make this happen. Yeah, we commit to making this a platform where you can find information, but also other stakeholders implementing uh, programs in youth to find each other, because I think that's the only way we are really going to create impact for the youth and create impact for our food systems for the future. To join in on conversations about Paint Y, visit our website and our social media platforms.